In 1968, Valora Noland completely abandoned her acting career and she never looked back. This shocking decision left her fans and colleagues with so many questions that have been left unanswered for years. This video reveals certain truths about the Star Trek icon and the events that led up to her exit from Hollywood. Valora's Brief Acting Career Valora Noland was one of the few actresses who had the shortest career span. She spent the most part of the 1960s appearing in different genres of films and entertaining her viewers. She had an unassuming look, but every time she appeared on screens, she showed her talented side. Her career may have been short-lived, but she made the most of her experience and opportunities in the film industry. Valora is internationally known for her role in the popular film Star Trek, but most people are unaware of her other roles she played all through her career and the challenges and victories she faced as an actress. Her decade-long career began in the late 1950s, and she spent several months performing at the historic performing arts venue Pasadena Playhouse. While she was there, she got involved in various artistic events and shows that allowed her to practice her entertainment skills. She was later noticed by a talent scout who introduced her to her first agent, Dick Clayton. A few months later, she got her first acting job where she appeared alongside five other actors in the film Five Finger Exercise. She later received major roles in television shows and she even starred in the television program The Rifleman. Even though she was just starting out in the film industry at the time, her performances were still interesting to watch. She had a unique way of portraying her characters and she made sure to play her roles well. After several appearances on television shows, she got her first major film role in 1963. She was selected alongside other promising actors and actresses to star in the Beach Party film Beach Party. Her role was that of Rhonda, and she joined the rest of the cast to create a great movie. She got her next role in the following year in the film Summer Children. Valora actually got the opportunity to work with several production companies in places like the Philippines and in Hollywood. She received a lot of work for the most part of the 1960s. And even though she was always busy filming, she still found a way to maintain the standard of her acting skills. She later appeared in movies like Muscle Beach Party, Sex and the College Girl, and The War Wagon. In 1963, she was selected to play the role of an unfaithful wife in the Philippine film The Passionate Strangers. She also worked with James Daly on Two Faces of Treason, which was a segment of NBC's The DuPont Show of the Week. Towards the late 1960s, she began to receive roles in television shows. She played guest roles in shows like The Man from UNCLE, The Virginian, Mannix, and Star Trek. Even though her appearance in the science fiction television series Star Trek was one of her last performances, her acting was so impressive that it left viewers of the show asking questions about her. She also gained a lot of fans from her performance and she is still remembered for her role as Daris in Star Trek. In the late 1960s, there weren't many science fiction shows in the movie industry. Most producers and directors focused on creating romance and comedy films because these were the genres that were guaranteed to get traction. Star Trek was one of the first shows of its kind. Because it was an intellectually challenging fiction show, the producers and directors focused on selecting the cast members carefully. They were focused on choosing actors and actresses who had the ability to interpret the plot of the show in the most interesting way. Valora was among the talented actresses who were chosen to appear in Star Trek at the time. She was one of the pioneers of the show and she truly played the role excellently. She was chosen to portray the character Daris in Star Trek, the original series, in the episode titled Patterns of Force. Her character in the movie was an Ecosian female who was posing as a Nazi party secretary while working with the Xeon Underground. Valora's character in Star Trek was a powerful woman who joined forces with Nazi resistance figures to take on Deputy Melikon. She embodied the role of Daris in the best of her ability and even long after the show was released, her fans still enjoyed her performance on the show. What happened to Valora Noland after she quit acting? Although the late 1960s came with a lot of career breakthroughs for Valora Noland, she found herself losing interest in the art of acting. She started to desire a form of expression that would allow her to air her opinions without constraint. She wanted to be able to create freely. Her new mindset sparked her desire to delve into writing and photography. After her appearance in Star Trek, she was selected to appear in Patterns of Force, and that was her final screen appearance. Right after she finished filming her scenes, she left the film industry 
for good. Within that same period, she left Los Angeles in January 1968 to a new city where she intended to start over. After retiring, she spent the first few months training to become a professional photographer. The more she learned about photography, the more her interest increased. It didn't take long before she started snapping her own images. Valora ended up changing more than her career. She actually changed her last name too. She changed her name from Valora Noland to Valora Tree, and that was the name she was known as. There are no records of Valora's personal life because she kept everything private. Years after she left Hollywood, she became an established photographer and author. She authored several books like Horse Stories, Water Lily Ponds, and Volume of Poetry. Her books captured her beliefs and they were said to be a doorway to her creative mind. From the 1970s, Valora became hyper-focused on her career. She was finally creating books, images, and videos that captured the attention of her target audience. She enjoyed the job as a writer and photographer, and she never made any move to return to Hollywood. Valora lived a quiet life for decades until the news of her death was announced. Valora Nolan's career didn't last for more than 10 years. She appeared in television shows and films for the most part of the 1960s, and most of the earnings she got from the film industry were from the roles she played during that time. Despite the fact that she isn't in the entertainment industry anymore, people are curious to know how much her net worth is. The fact that she isn't active in Hollywood has definitely limited the information that is broadcasted about her in the media and in newspapers. The fact that she lived a low-key life also contributed to the lack of information about her finances. Her assets were not known, but based on what she earned during her brief career, her net worth is estimated to be about $500,000. On the 27th of March 2022, it was announced that the former actress passed on at the age of 80. The news of her death came as a shock to many as it sparked a remembrance of her phenomenal works in the entertainment industry. From the day her death was announced, her fans began to ask questions about her personal life and if she had any children. Unfortunately, there was no information about her marriage or children. Only details about her career as a photographer and writer were shared. Valora Nolan truly made history during her short career. She will forever be remembered. Which of these facts about Valora Nolan caught your interest the most? Do let us know in the comments section and check out the next video in this series. It promises to be entertaining.